Shalom, all praise to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh, Shai Basham, Rakar Kadash, double honest to the apostles at Great Millstone. Uh, this is a, a video, uh, just something that I uh, just, you know, want to bring out for, you know, but um, yeah, man, I just want to say, you know, hey, now's not the time to be weak. Now is not the time to be weak at all. You know, th there's so much things going on right now. You know, there's so much different things that are like, whether it be, you know, news, uh, uh, um, events, mysterious things. There's so much things happening now. Now is not the time to be to be weak. You know, we're at the end of this thing. And I mean, this is a bit of encouragement for, you know, anybody out there, bro. I mean, this thing is going down. I mean, you know, I mean, I could, I could go into a whole load of things, but, you know, I just, I'm just trying to, you know, pretty much, you know, just come from the spirit right now, but, bro, this, this is going down, you know, and, you know, as a matter of fact, let me, let me, let me start with, uh, this scripture, Habakkuk 2, and, uh, it's free, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, and we're at the end, we're at the end. You know, the, I'm t ran through the spirit, bro, there's a lot going on. There's some, there's things happening. You know, there's so much things happening. You know, events, okay, let's look at the world news. You know, you had the blood moon. You had, you had this Trump individual meeting the leaders of the world and came back, made himself look a damn fool. You've also been having a whole load of chariot sightings popping off a whole load. You've been having mainstream media going into the UFOs again, CNN or whatever, saying, look, we got to talk about these chariots. You got, you've had chariots, you've got crazy videos of strange noises and UFOs and stuff like that just popping up all, all over the place. You got... You got the RFID technology. You got people walking around chipped. You got people in the military chipped. You got people walking around in the street, in the general public chipped, RFID tagged. You know, you got all these crazy things happening. You got newspaper reports of the Israelites. You got these mass marches. You got so much things happening. Uh, you know, articles coming out about the elites being scared. There's so much things happening. And you know, if you really got your eyes open, you know that this ain't no time to be to be looking at it, to be to be getting to be weak and all that, bro. This is the time now. You know, this is going down, bro. And then, especially if you put a whole set of years in this, you know, you put a number of years in this, man. It's a beautiful time to be in. I mean, what what have we got here, bro? We've got nothing. The only thing they give us here is GMO foods, death, frustration, destruction of you, destruction of your families, destruction of your people. You ain't got no land, you know? You look down on every day. You gotta, you know, you know what I mean? You, there's so much, you know, if you don't know this system is against us right now, or you don't want to talk about it, then you're, just, you're gonna be destroyed because we're not, you know, the judgments is, now is in the time of judgments. There's so much crazy things happening. You know, Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So the scriptures here is you thinking, oh, this is taking long. You know, it's not really taking long, bro, because we're right in the end. You know, we're right in the end, man. You know, Different men are putting different years in this knowledge. I've been waiting for it. In this life, you know, you know, pretty much longer than, you know, other Archeum and stuff. And, you know, it's, it's, it's here. You know, it's here, brother. It's right here, man. And, and there's nothing else to do but to, to, but to, 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 do, to do this truth, to declare this word. What else is there to fucking do in this fucking shit all over kingdom man lobotomize yourself mentally make tell yourself everything's all right you know this this world's boring it's stupid it's annoying you know this place is fucking 
It brings you out, you, you, your true self. You know, you gotta act everywhere you, you fucking go, pretty much, to to p please people in the world. And the deeper you wanna go in the world, the deeper you gotta do, you just gotta start acting. That's what, you know, that's why the scripture says to med be occupied in prophecy. Okay, let me. You know what? Matter of fact, let me get. Let me get. Let me get a scripture on that. Second uh, Peter's three and one. This epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. Because we had this knowledge in the ancient world, man. The men. You know, a lot of these apostles and stuff, they were, a lot of them were with Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai was around. You know, a lot of men seen Yahweh Shai and was following Yahweh Shai. You know, whoever those, you know, men are and all that, you know, whatever. But, I mean, we've got this knowledge back and this is a, this is a treasure to know the deep things of the world, to know who you are, to know things the average person don't see. Now, what gets people is that you haven't physically... You know, this truth don't get you, 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 you get you a, a massage. You know, in a mas you know, you know this truth don't, but you know, get you, you know, laid at the bar and all that. But you know, that you know, but at the end of the day, mate, this is beyond all of that, bro. Because the, oh well, even from the side of the the, the innumerable blessings we're gonna get is way beyond what the fuck stupid little stupid pleasures you can get on this side. <laughs> that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord and Saviour Yahweh Shai okay knowing this first there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust and our people are a bunch of scoffers mate they hate the scriptures they hate the Lord and that's why they're going to be destroyed they love the system a servant not a uh, the scripture says you can't serve two masters. See, all these scriptures are coming to my head. I didn't really write any of them down, but I'm going to make this quick as well. But that's what it is. You know, you have a, you know, you you have a love the scriptures and you have faith in the Lord, man. And you keep these law, statutes, and commandments and push the Lord's word. Or you just, or you just, you serve in the Caesar, the God of this world, and, you know, ignoring this, the knowledge. And, and and rejecting the knowledge and just being a a, a, a pleasure and seek a pleasure seeking freak in this world. Well, I mean personally, bro, Lord willing, I fucking hate this place, and I fucking can't stand this place, and and what all the fucking stupid things that's got to offer. I, I really couldn't give a shit, you know, to be honest, because you know people are fake, people ain't genuine, you know. See, the only people that are worthy to be delivered out of this place is the elect. Because the majority of the people out here are fucking wicked demons, man. And you you, you just got to be around the people for five minutes to work that out. Well, you just, especially nowadays, people are demons. Just look at them. You can, you're supposed to be able to read these spirits and we're in the end, man. So now's the time of the judgment. You know? It says, you know what? I could read the whole chapter, but I'm not going to do that. Let me jump down to the point I wanted to bring out in this. Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, that's nuclear war, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So our conversations is both about the, about the end, about about the you know the, the 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 coming of the lord in the chariots the raising up of the 12 tribes the kingdom you know or geopolitics you know you got these nations man they, they're talking about nukes and control and turf you know and this you know shadow government and all that they're all into these different things and you know you, you get this knowledge but you you got niggas want to talk about drake or some shit fuck you know all that bullshit bro you know Seeing then all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in 
all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens shall be on fire, the heavens, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And they talk about God loves everybody. What's this scripture talking about? World War Three. Okay, and the Lord coming back in the chariots to deliver the elect and to zap this kingdom. That's what that's talking about. And we're in that time. The end times is real. And this is real. It's happening. Have faith, man. You know, pray for more faith. This is happening, bro. You know, this is happening, man. You're going to physically see it. And when you tune into the spirit, man, you see all these different news articles or mad things happening in the news or mad different things. You know, you're like, damn, man, this this is beautiful. This is this is this is it. You know. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, will indwell with righteousness. That's what the men of the Lord are supposed to want. Not all this wickedness, man, that's going on on the planet Earth. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna say shalom.